I, I wanted to show this guitar one more time because uh, I recently got some more information on, on how to make adjustments on this neck. If you remember when I showed you this guitar before, it's totally different for Martin to make a guitar like this. This one is made in Mexico. They do make them in the United States now. Um, but they, but I did buy it early when uh, when they were coming out of Mexico, and they still are. You can still buy these. Uh, I think I paid like fourteen hundred dollars. This S shape, but it's this neck that I was so interested in. It's called the Sherline neck, <clears throat> and uh, and it's not it's not a bolt on neck. It's a dovetail, but it has this ability to to actually change the angle of the neck um, and also the intonation. Um, you know, by using the adjustments that are inside. Well, and and so uh, I think what's happened is I'm I'm seeing a lot of uh, uh, just different information showing up on the web where people are asking questions about how do I make a change. They they'll take it to a, a someone and they, that is supposed to know what they're doing and they don't. Yeah. You know, so it's it's there's a big question out there, and why didn't I get the, the what I needed with the guitar in the first place? Um, so, I I just recently noticed uh, about two months ago, Martin actually started offering a kit that goes with these, and you have to buy it separate. It's one hundred fifty dollars. It's expensive, but I thought, well, it's worth having. I was having problems with a buzz on my on uh, my B string, and so I was trying to make adjustments. Um, but I I did get this kit, and I went through. Uh, it was like a tutorial, or a, there's a, a spec sheet that walks you through checking everything out. You know, making sure that the that the uh, the action's set right. Looking at the relief when you look inside this toolkit. Um, you know, that comes with the gauges for. Uh, uh, for uh, three thousandths and five thousandths of an inch to look at the relief of your neck. That was kind of nice. Um, it also came with a string gauge, action gauge, so you could measure the action at the 12th fret. Some of these tools I've already, I have already, but uh, it's nice to have it all together in one little pack. Um, it also comes with the truss rod tool, uh, the, the Allen wrench, which is a four millimeter and it's a long reach which is what this is needed for this guitar. So um, that was really nice. Um, and in addition, I think this is most important that if you are going to make changes um, and, and, and change uh, the wedges or the plates inside the neck, you need this tool. It's a, 20, it's a torque, 25 pound torque screwdriver, basically. So it's set so that you don't over, -screw, over tighten the screws. Um, and then in addition, there's about, let's see, one, two, three, about eight of these plates uh, inside the kit that you can actually take the plate that's in there out and replace it and change the angle of your neck. So I was thinking because I had the string buzz that maybe I needed to, to change one of those plates out to uh, actually raise my action a little bit. But when I started measuring everything out, um, and following the specs on the on the computer that I saw, the the bridge um, was actually shaved too low. When I bought this guitar, I could tell someone had already adjust made some adjustments on it, and I think they shaved the the, br the bridge, uh, not the bridge, but the saddle too low. So I ordered a new saddle and put it in, made a few adjustments, made sure it was at spec. And now uh, I have the action set. When I measure it, it's set right to spec. It feels like an electric guitar. And there's no buzz. I mean, it sounds great. It sounds better from, than the day that I bought it. So it was nice to get this kit and then follow, you know, it has a scan uh, here that you can do and it'll take you to the spec sheets and it walks you through, you know, what to check and how in using these tools. And then it also takes you to a video and shows you how to change out the plate and everything in that video. So it's a great addition. I, it's, it is pretty new. It's only been like, um, it's been like a month now. So, uh, or maybe two months that it's been out, 
but I was glad to get it. And, uh, and actually this kit helped me. I know I'm not going to change out any of the plates. It's not necessary. Basically, uh, whatever change someone made before I got this, it was too severe. And I just needed to put a new, uh, new saddle in there. And once I did, uh, this thing just came back to life and it, it sounds wonderful. I, I'm just so pleased with it. It's a beautiful guitar. So if you have one of these SC13Es and you are thinking about changing out that wedge, I don't know if you can see inside there, um, you know, make sure you get a kit, make sure you listen to the instructions because you don't just go yanking those, those wedges out, you have to loosen the neck. Um, uh, you could take it off too, but they say it's not necessary to take the neck off to change those plates, but you do have to loosen it. And, um, and so you need the tool so that when you go to tighten it back up, you don't over tighten it. And then um, also, um, you know, they'll give you instructions if you felt like the intonation's off, which mine is perfect. And that's without, maybe you can hear it, it just sounds beautiful. Um, but you can change it. Uh, and once again, you're supposed to loosen the neck and there's a certain amount that you loosen the neck before you make changes on that. So once again, you really need the instructions. And if you're not comfortable with doing those types of things, I, I can understand why they didn't just put these kits out. It would have created a, probably a disaster because people probably would have said, oh, I guess I could just take that out, put this new one in. Well, it doesn't work like that. And uh, you need to be aware of, of those so many different specs, um, you know, from your, your action, um, you know, how you have your truss rod set to the height of your saddle to, um, uh, you know, exactly how you've adjusted your truss rod. Yeah, so it's a great toolkit. And, um, I, and if you, like they say in their video, if you're handy and you feel comfortable, you know, you can give it a try. But if you run into problems, go find a someone that knows how, that's been qualified to, to make changes on these guitars. I'm certainly not qualified, but I do like to mess around and um, within try to stay within reason so I don't get into trouble. Um, but uh, yeah, so but this is a great guitar, beautiful, beautiful guitar, very well designed. Um, I'm just so pleased with it. can't beat that so anyways um all right so I guess that's really what I wanted to share with you today I can't think of anything else so uh this is only a couple months old but get on the Martin website if you want to buy one uh it will cost you 150 bucks but I think it's well worth it to make sure your guitar is is set up you know well and gives you the best of playing all right, I hope you have a great day out there wherever you are in this world. And again, go get yourself a good cup of coffee and, uh, and enjoy.